What's up, party people from uh, the Rockies in Idaho? Snowing outside. This is Jude Snowboarder from Facebook, Jude's Junk, Facebook page, shop, and YouTube channel. So a lot of people are starting to ask about uh, a presser, uh, someone who presses your books. And I do want to give a shout out to my presser, but the bigger point is um, learning what a strategic alliance you could have with a good presser. For example, people will say, how do I submit my books to CGC? What's the process? What's the cost? So I usually will say to them, ask your presser. <laughs> That's your middleman. That's how you learn if you're getting into it. Don't worry about which grading company you use. Find a presser that you trust. And yeah, you can ask around on Facebook and everybody will just throw out a name. Hey, I, I like this guy. I like that guy. I like that guy. There are pressers that will charge more, and but they'll do it quicker. And then there's pressers that will charge a lot less but take longer. So you need to find out um, if your presser will expedite your books for you and if he charges more for that. So my presser will charge an extra $5 if you want it expedited. Um, I've been working with him for a while, so he usually makes a lot of allowances um, in terms of bumping me to the front of the line. Maybe, I don't know. But it seems like if I send it to him at the last minute for a signing, he can take care of it. And that's another thing I like is I'll send him 20 books to send to CGC. And um, I used to do the CGC order form myself and send it to him so he can submit it for me. Um, but now um, I'm letting him submit it because he gets some um, recognition from CGC the more submissions he sends in. And it might be slightly cheaper. I just don't have as much visibility into it if he submits the order versus me. But the point is, whether I submit it or he submits it, let's say I send in 20 books, then a signing pops up. You know, a month later, he's, it's still in the queue waiting to be pressed. A month later, uh, a signing pops up. I'm like, oh, I need two of those books to go to this signing. Well, now that order for CGC needs to be modified because you can't submit um, 18 books on a 20-book order. So that whole order might have to be done again. Another reason for him to do the order at the end of the process rather than me doing it at the beginning he insures the books based because he's a company. He has insurance, me sending it to him, and from him sending it to CGC. If I send it to CGC and I go through pirate ship, I can't insure it because it's only insurable if it has a commercial invoice. And there is no commercial invoice when you're sending it to CGC. So another reason to use the press. So there's a lot of hidden benefits people don't know with a real recognizable um uh, presser and cleaner. People don't realize that, that especially the older books, you know, it might be uh, $15, $10, $15 to press, but it might be $25 to, to clean or maybe clean and press depending on their, their charges. But there are some people out there that are doing cleanings that are, are using some kind of chemical and CGC just caught on with that and now they're getting them all qualified grades. So they've been doing it for years. My presser's like, no, nah, we're not gonna take that chance because they're gonna qualify it. So there's a lot of different um, nuances with a presser, a cleaner. Are they going to work with you? I needed, I'm, I'm submitting hundreds and hundreds of books. So I needed a presser that was gonna be a strategic alliance, work with me that I can communicate with, not just bark orders to me and um, um, whatever. My The first guy I was referred to had pretty good reviews, but he also had a lot of negative reviews and many of you probably know who I'm talking about. And I used him and um, uh, I sent a book off to him to send to a CBCS signing and he basically mailed it to the wrong place. Um, it never got signed, so it got graded without the signature. Uh, he didn't give me a refund for the shipping to the wrong place. Um, he didn't give me a refund for the for the, the cost to bag it, because you know there's a $5 bagging fee for a signing and all that. And he just said, I'll give you a credit. So he mailed it to the wrong place, basically lost my book for a couple months, didn't give me any credit. <laughs> I was like, and he was already called an, an, uh, a jerk on, on many uh, of the uh, Facebook sites. So I was done with that. I needed, and, and I asked him if he would work with me to do this, this, and this. And he goes, no, I'm just going to do it my way. And I was like, all right, that's cool. So I was done with him. But anyways, I found somebody who lived right next door to CBCS. And this is back over a year ago when CBCS was still doing great. 
and he would carry it in so I wouldn't have to worry about the shipping charges or things lost in transmission to uh, CBCS. Now he mails them into CGC for me. If you can find a presser next to CGC, that would be the way to go. But uh, my presser has jumped through hoops. You know, yeah, he's made some mistakes uh, in terms of um, sometimes taking too long to press them. Um, but that's because I was sending him to a lot of books, you know, and uh, probably because I was changing things all the time. It was causing some problems, but I wanted to, um, I can always send you a, a message of who my presser is now that I use. Uh, I trust him. I like him. He works with me and um, it's been invaluable. So find a presser cleaner that you trust and uh, they will teach you a lot about the industry the, the grading process he even says hey this book you shouldn't grade it yeah, you shouldn't get it pressed you shouldn't grade it so um, he'll mail me back raw books and say no we're not going to press this we're not going to grade it it's not worth grading and i'll say okay i i hear you anyways happy hunting guys